In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your front fender liner. That's this right here, protects your wheel well. Let's get started. Let's remove the wheel, 21 millimeter socket, remove all five of your lug nuts, and then pull the wheel off. Take the wheel off. To start replacing this fender liner, I want to start at the back, right by the front driver's door. Now, of course, if you're doing this on the other side, on the passenger side, the process will be identical. But either way, you'll notice that there are several push clips that look like this, whether yours are still the factory ones or, in my case, someone replaced them already. These break often. Regardless of what you have, you're going to have to take these out. So just use a trim tool. As you can see, I already broke this one. These get all of the... Uh, elements from nature and debris shot right at them so they get brittle very fast. Typically you'd have a center and then the outer part pops out. Again it's a good idea to have several on hand already in order to be able to replace them just like in this case where they break. There is one more that's hidden back here which I can't show you but it looks exactly like these and it's very easy to reach because it's actually right about here but in order for me to show you I'd have to remove this whole side skirt which I will not do because you saw these but if you just stick your tool back here and you pry it, it should pop out okay there's a bolt right up there 10 millimeter bolt right here or screw, I guess it screws into plastic. Remove it. At the top, there are several more push clips to be removed. Some right on the fender here, and some towards the inside. And you'll notice that your fender liner is mostly detached at this point, except for two screws underneath here, so let's get those. On these, you can either use a Phillips head screwdriver or a 10 millimeter socket. I'm gonna go for the 10 millimeter socket because often these will strip out if you try to use the Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, this one came out, but it's stuck inside the bumper cover. That's okay, we'll leave it there. This one, I tried to spray both, but uh, the rust penetrant didn't quite make it into this one. This one, however, is soaked, so it should come out a lot easier. Perfect. Pull the fender liner off of the bumper cover and remove it from the vehicle. There it is. Take your new fender liner and just try to line it up the best you can. It's going to not be as easy to line up because the old one has been molded to this vehicle for a long time, so it basically is stuck in that shape, whereas this one will not do that. So you're gonna have to try to prop it up in here the best you can, just until you secure it with your first couple fasteners. When you bring it in here, you'll notice that these clips have a lip to them. Make sure that the fender liner slides in here and basically gets pinched by this lip. Start the mounting screw, and we'll have to do the same thing on this side here, except this one will go above the bumper cover, not underneath. Now when I install fender liners, I don't go in a specific order. I start with whatever bolt holes or clip holes line up. This one, I see it lines up almost perfectly. So I'm gonna put a clip in here because that means this area is positioned as it needs to be. So I wanna lock that in. Then I'll move the rest around. I'm gonna go over to this one here. Let's do the ones on the fender. Put back the 10 millimeter screw that went into here. Now let's put the wheel on. Put back all five of your lug nuts, bottom them out, and then torque them to 76 foot pounds. And double check them. There you go, take it for a road test. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.